everybody, here we are again, Wolf Prince Wary. Very nice as usual, but again, as usual, not here to talk about that. Test, test glasses out again. I'm going to have to get some sort of backdrop for that. Because it doesn't seem to show up too well on camera. Right, so we're here to do a test of Red Dog's Jester IPA. I think I did that backwards again, didn't I? Jester IPA, 5.3%. So just try and let you read the label there. Right, malts, Golden Promise, Caramel and Dextrine. Hops, Bramling Cross, Cross and Jester. Give me a fast pour, I'm bottled from the keg. Not falling for that one, John. Right. That's tight as a tight thing. Why it's not on again. It looks pretty clear to me. Let's... So quite a good hiss. And I can already see carbonation. And can smoke going on. Oh, there's some sediment right up at the top. I don't know, that must have been from when it was led down in the uh, in the box. It's been sat upright, I should have given it perhaps a bit of a shake. It's been sat upright for months. Feels like decades. Right, we're going to stop there. Whoops. Not going to waste, it's gone back into the bottle. Don't worry about it. Pull that there. Yeah. Pop, give the bottom a bit of a wipe. That, I don't know if you can see that, there's a bit of a, it's been out of the fridge for about 45 minutes. the torch, it's okay. Don't panic, don't panic, Mr. Mannering. Don't panic. Right. With the power of the torch, there's a little bit of particulates going on, but not much. It's a nice golden colour. Lots of carbonation. Got, ooh, got a whiff then, and that was nice. That must be the caramel. It's a bit. It smells a bit like um, crystal malt. That sort of sweet. Almost toffee flavour. Toffee smell. Not flavour. That's the smell. Yeah, a bit like candy floss. When you've got fresh made candy floss, which is just sugar and a bit of colouring in it. Yeah, that is nice. That is nice. How do I know? It's a nice smell. There's a bit of condensation coming on the bath, but I can see through it. I'm sure you can see through it. Right, let's dive in for a taste. Go for the overall taste first. Yeah, that's very nice. Quite well balanced. An upfront and lingering bitterness. Let's see. So that's the overall. Let's go for the malts, malts as usual. Hoppy bitterness, but yeah, there's a slight 
biscuit note and not as big a toffee note as I would have thought and not as sweet as I would have thought given the the aroma but there's a a nice gentle more of a candied floss flavour than a, than a toffee but not upfront sweetness like candy floss which is just there sweet sugar but that sort of slight caramelised sugariness right let's go for the hops Very nice. There's a I'd say a slight earthiness and some sort of berry flavour. Um, yeah. That's gonna be a difficult one to place. Perhaps a, perhaps a black currant. Let's have another. Thank you, pardon. So it's well carbonated. Yeah, there's quite a pronounced bitterness that lasts throughout. And you've got to try and pick the flavours through that. There is a, I think it's like a black currant, slight black currant flavour. Mm. Yeah, some earthiness going on. That is very nice. So, 5.3%. It's a little bit, but bell of some. You're having an extra pint per four pints. Is that right? Approximately. Approximately. But as you can see, it's holding a bit of a cap due to bubbles streaming up from the bottom. That's very nice. Yeah, there's a just a nice pleasant bitterness going on with those slight biscuit notes. I'm trying to go for the overall flavour now. Biscuit notes sort of halfway through. Gentle, I'd say. Not a sweet biscuit, more like a not as nutty as a hob hobnob. Are digestive. Beg me pardon. Beg me pardon. Right. Yeah, there's a bit of a floral note as well. Um, can't quite picture what sort of flower it is, but I, did, I struggle. I struggle with flowers anyway. Uh, elderflower. I can pick out elderflower. That's about it. It's not elderflower. <sighs> More like. Yeah, perhaps a bit like hawthorn. That hawthorn sort of sweetish, sweetish smell. Sweety, spicy smell or flavour. Yeah, 
That's very nice, that. Shira said, many thanks, John, for sending it. But I'll say it again. Um, now I've now only got one of yours left to review. I can't see what it is. It's a, a darkish one. Yeah, you can't see. I think it's Mangrove Jacks. It can't be. I love that one. Looks like different Mangrove Jacks. Jacks. Could be. Right. So I'll stop off with. Very nice to hear that, John. Very, very nice, actually. Um, yes, better than the... I was trying to remember what it was. The Black IPA. The Black IPA, I was overly hopped. If you like a good hoppy beer, the Black IPA was okay. But I much prefer that. That is that is very nice, that. And as you can see, absolutely. Now it's warmed up a bit. It might have had just a little bit of a chill haze on it. If you go sat, it seems to me like pretty much crystal clear now. Right, time to stop waffling. I nearly finished it. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye. After playing nights like these, my days get cut to short. I waste my time and watch TV. When will it come to stop? My life is for living. I'll be doing it in stuff.